What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about five habits to break in 2023 to support weight loss. So let's get started. So if you wanna be successful with your weight loss in 2023, you have to make it a lifestyle change. The five habits I'm gonna go over make the biggest difference and they're things that you need to start tracking. Number one is you want to stop with liquid calories. Yes, I'm talking alcohol. I'm talking the Starbucks runs. I'm talking the juices, the drinks, the things that are liquid and it has a calorie. Get used to eating your food. Start drinking water. Start transitioning away from liquid calories and you will find that you will save yourself hundreds of calories per week, thousands of calories per month. Over the course of a year, this is going to translate into a serious change. So guys, Pick and choose your battles, but when it comes to liquid calories, skip it. Number two, mindless eating. If you are just standing around, or if you're at your, your job, or if there's like a, a snack drawer, or if somebody has candies or treats or things that are out, and you just find yourself eating mindlessly, maybe you're in front of TV watching Netflix, whatever it may be, whatever triggers you to just consume, without thinking, without being present, without actually being mindful and enjoying that food, guys, skip it. Because if you're going to eat something, if you're going to add calories to your body, make it something that you're consciously doing. Don't make it something that's mindless because when you go mindless with your calorie intake, number one, you're probably not enjoying the food all that much. It's probably just mediocre at best. It's not adding joy. It's not adding useful, valuable fuel that you need because you're more, more than likely, it's meant to be something that is above and beyond what you need if you're consuming it mindlessly. So skip out on these habits and behaviors that lead to mindless eating. And when you do eat, be present, be conscious, enjoy it, savor it, and look forward to it. Don't allow it to be something where you just go in zombie mode deer in headlights and you don't even realize what you just did because the thing is you could easily mindlessly eat an extra four five six seven hundred calories a day having the scale creep up and then you just have no idea and the reason because you weren't paying attention number three too many meals away from home now i like to eat out it can be fun it could be a nice way to go on a date. It can be a great way to engage, spend time with your partner. It can be a great way to be social. However, if you find yourself doing this all the time, Monday, Tuesday, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. It's just, if it's just a habit for you, eat out less. It doesn't mean don't do it. The more you eat out, the more likely you are to consume higher calories, food of lower and or questionable quality. So the thing is, you want to just minimize it. If you're hungry during the weekdays and you typically would just order out or just go somewhere, try cooking at home more. And not only will this save you money over the course of the year, it is definitely going to save inches on your waistline. Tip number four, I am guilty of this one, nibbling while cooking. If you're the person who's like a lick, a bite, a snack, and if you just love to cook and you are picking and tasting and doing all the things while you cook, you are just adding extra calories that are unnecessary. What I do is I will actually brush my teeth before I cook, I will gargle before I cook, or I will even chew gum while cooking. For me, if I'm chewing a piece of gum while I'm meal prepping or cooking, I am like 100% just less likely to be dabbling in that stuff if I have like a minty palate. So. Be mindful of that. Be mindful when you're doing it because you don't even realize you're doing it. It kind of somewhat falls into that mindless eating category, but if you are nibbling while you cook, that is such a simple, easy thing to address once you are aware of it. Last but not least, tip number five, emotional eating. Now this is something that I am guilty of from time to time. If you find that when your mood shifts, whether all of a sudden you're angry, sad. It could even be happy because sometimes when you're happy and you just want to celebrate, you just want to eat more. You have to remember that there are other ways to process emotions that have nothing to do with food. And I encourage you to think of three 
new things that you can do when you are feeling an emotion to process and channel that energy towards instead of food. For me, what I do is walking is a very helpful one. Obviously working out and weight training, they're all kind of like tied in one. I'm talking to a friend. And for me, I've been doing relaxing things for myself, such as getting a massage or taking a long shower or turning into bed early. And finding ways to process emotions that have nothing to do with food is going to be new for a lot of people. But I encourage you guys to take these five tips that I shared with you very seriously because mastering even just one or two of these over the course of a year will make a drastic difference in your overall healthy lifestyle. So comment which one of these five you want to work on. And if it's multiple of them, that's great too. Share which ones you feel that you could easily start improving on in 2023. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.